let's19, he had to go outside and see what the grass smelled like. While I was there, I did some business, and um, well, at least he was productive. Signs of life, mm -hmm. right? Yep, excretion. Yep. Yeah, well, there we go. There's some of that. And um, he's only like this big. He's just, I don't hope he grows because, well, not really because, like, if he does poo in the house, it's like hand hurt. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, you know. And, uh, but, uh, so I got here. So I got here about 4 20. What time did you get here? Uh, 4.39. What time did you get here? 5.31. What time did you get here? That was after you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like 10 till 7 right now, so we've been here a long day. Uh, but it's been a fun day. And Price said this, you know, we start at uh, 2.60 next week, which is five years. You remember five years ago when we started this? <laughs> yeah. It was a random thing here, then we'll get on to this. Cause really, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> we don't script these. Okay. And when I'm in, when I'm in them, because I kind of have hiatuses every now and then, when I'm in them, they don't get a talk. Uh, so they're they're just these guys are eye candy. We make up for it on a hiatus, but I will say we are great eye candy. <laughs> <laughs> these, these are my eye candy. <laughs> but um, but it was really funny how they all started on the pre. You remember we decided how to do these one day? We'll be with you guys in a second. Remember oh we started these? Which we'll do this next week. We'll talk about. Them. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but it was just like let's do a weekly video and educate our community. Exactly. That was and the goal. That was the goal. Mm -hmm. And we actually, uh, wow, we should talk about this next week. We'll do it now. We would actually, like, for a week, go, well, let's talk about this. And we actually had, like, scripts and what we were going to talk about. Oh, yeah. It was all taped to the tripod. Yeah, because we couldn't <laughs> afford the, the, what was it, teleprompter? That was our teleprompter. <laughs> the yeah, second about it was, no, no, the first time he, the first one he did is like, Dude, you gotta write bigger than that. I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like this big. I'm reading the whole thing. He's going, Welcome Seven to nine Ship Four. <laughs> like, Get a niner in there. <laughs> right? Bigger. Because I can't see those things, man. But it was funny because he's kind of a freak of nature. The different, we golfed with him. Oh, he has insane eye vision. He'll hit the ball against and by that blade of grass, by that third tree. And you go, it's like, there's a ball there. <laughs> so when I, when I golfed with Matt, we had fun. We're supposed to. Play. I can't do it tomorrow. Oh, okay. Next Maybe week. Next week. Okay. All right. So, but here's what's funny. Um, I learned this golfing with Matt. I'd hit the ball and I would just go sit in the cart. <laughs> and I'd go, "You saw that, right?" He's like, "Yeah, it's up here." And we'd go right <laughs> to it. I was like, "All feet left." How does he do that? You know. So, but anyway. So, um, you are kind of a freak. I'm very blessed with 2012 vision. Yeah, you were. Very nice. Yeah, well, <laughs> You can't butt, but whatever. <laughs> so I can read it. I just can't you execute. Can't, you, can't, you can read it, but you can't butt it. So you can read it. No, you can't butt it. I'll never forget the one time we were golfing with each other. We'll get back to this. Matt gets to this par five and two. No, you got there in two. No, I keep going. Keep and, going. And, and I go. So it's a par five and two. It's number nine at Deer Creek. And I go. Here's the cool thing about this dude. You were pretty close, weren't you? Like, 30 feet away, probably. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You know, far enough away. And I was like, you know what the cool thing about this is, Matt? And he goes, what's that? And I said, you can still bogey this. And he's like, no, nah, I'm not. And I go, he has four. <laughs> there were four putts on the same <laughs> hole. So we go walk him back to the car. And he's like, shut up. <laughs> I wish so, I could have that on video. It was really funny. I read where your cheeks. You mean kind of like we had that other shot of yours on oh, the Oh, that was classic. <laughs> that, the exploding ball. Yeah, that was good. Well, the other one, too, when you did the, uh, the who was it? The Happy Gilmore. Gilmore. Dang, your hip broke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was. Yeah. Right. So let's, let's, let's get something serious here. Um, we were talking tonight, we were just talking about um, kids on drugs. And uh, so I just want to, first of all, say this. I'm not against drugs, you know, and I'm not against medicine. I see so much medicine bashing by our profession that it really bothers me. 
Um, cause I'm not, you know, I mean, you know, I think back, there's a, there's a really good chiropractor down in Texas, uh, you know, Dr. Murphy, I think is his name. Medicine's done a great job of keeping him alive. Um, I, and I'm, I'm sure he's getting adjusted. So I, I, and when I had my knee shattered, you know, thank goodness, you know, when, when Tiffany had some of her stuff going on, I mean, thank goodness, right? So I, I'm not, I'm not opposed to medicine. Um, and, and I get really disappointed when I, cause we used to do it. And my wife called me on the carpet one day. We used to start some of our early shifts and we would bash that model. And, uh, and my wife called me on the carpet. She's like, really? Cause if you destroyed your knee, who, how many times did you get adjusted? And I was like, well, three or four times a week. She goes, what about your knee? And I was like, and they didn't turn my leg back. You know, my knee was backwards. They pointed my, my foot was backwards. They pointed my foot the right way. Cause I don't think an adjustment would have done that. And so, I mean, it, but what I get upset by um, is if there's another choice that, that could be given. And, uh, you know, we, we had one tonight, you know, a young boy who um, has had pretty good results. And, uh, what, two out of three, three out of four of his diagnosed conditions had resolved. Mm -hmm. But they're going to go back on the drugs. Um, and why? The insurance pays it. And, uh, you know, I got a little fiery here about a half an hour ago mm -hmm. um, because it's like, but we've gotten in three months that he's had this problem for three and a half years. In three months, we've gotten results with three of the four, but because insurance is going to cover, and I'm, I'm like, we're going to create a high enough value. Mm -hmm. So what is the value to you in Cairo land um, is, and I'm not, you know, we, I think we're very good here about if somebody has a financial situation, we're gonna work with people, because we I'm willing to do that. I mean, I, I told these guys back there, if I, if I win the lottery, I would do this for free. Um, because I used to tell Tashaun all the time, let's buy lottery tickets, win $100 million or whatever million dollars, let's just no longer charge people. That's how much I love, and I think you guys kind of agree with me. You know, so we should buy lottery tickets, I guess. <laughs> yeah, well. um, but you know, then I was telling the story years ago, when Matt's first week, we had you know a really, I'm not gonna go the whole story, but a really tragic situation where um, a young boy lost his life, and because possibly getting adjusted would have been beneficial. We can't prove that, but based on some of our, our experience, it has. And so I, I think it's, uh, you know, before you decide to take that pill or that injection because something else covers it, what are the side effects and ramifications? And just because it's, you know, what's the, what's the story? Pain is inevitable, so but suffering is an, an option. You may take that pill or that injection, but the suffering of that down the road isn't really worth it. And so you've really got to weigh those possibilities and we're such an a quick fix society. Um, I think it's time we really go, mm. so you, you, we told these guys before we started this and I'll shut up and let them have some moments. Um, next Tuesday, I was like, we need to sit down and really reconnect our purpose, mission, and, 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 and vision because I think we've kind of lost track a little bit. So watch out is all I'm telling you. So, okay. Moment of silence. Somebody's got to say something. Something. <laughs> uh, well, I, to, yeah, to, to elaborate, um, in my opinion, based on my experiences, most people, uh, when, they, when they're seeking out an answer for any type of lack of health problem they may be having, um, it's always best to go least invasive to most invasive. And we're not even talking about chiropractic here, we're really talking about anything. Anything! I yeah. mean, if you wanted to fix your house, you would start out doing the least, like the, the job that requires the least amount of work to try to get the most out of it. I mean, you're not going to start, oh, we got a leaky roof. Let's completely wipe out the entire foundation and rebuild. First, let's just try to, you know, pack. Uh, it's the same thing. You know, every, an adjustment works with the body. It doesn't add or remove anything, which is why our malpractice insurance is really quite low. I mean, I'm pretty sure our car payments are more than the malpractice insurance. Well, you know, you know, that's, and that's a very good point because I had this brought up to me today um, that that one of our patients was was thinking of bringing their, their little boy in, and um, um, and we got to talking about that, and the, the pediatrician said chiropractic is dangerous, and I was like, it is that's such an old crap line. Um, I know what I pay for malpractice, and it is about 10%. And so, once again, not bashing medicine, but chiropractic is the safest thing out there on the planet Earth, next to water. 
I don't think water is even safe anymore. Well, compare insurance to a driver that has had multiple drunk driving instances, accidents galore, speeding tickets to somebody that has a clean record. Which one's going to pay more? The one who's at the higher risk. If they can get coverage. If they get coverage. So, so once again, I want to say this, I'm going to start. Not bashing medicine. No. What, because, you know what? There, there's people in our profession who are like, mm -mm. but what, what, I, what we're getting at here is I think where we're headed with this. Before we start, you know, tearing down the house and rebuilding the house because I got a hole in the roof, let's, let's fix the roof, man. And, you know, anything, anything that you do that's non-invasive can be undone. So the worst thing that can happen is, is you wind up right back to where you were. Yeah. I mean, well, that's like, I'll use this like this, this little boy we were talking about today. Um, the dad told me, well, yeah, when he's on the two prescriptions, he gets really, really bad diarrhea and diaper rash. I said, and does he enjoy that? Well, I don't think so. I said, well, I said, would you enjoy it? He goes, well, no. And I was like, so if, it just, I, I think we really have to really sit down and think, granted, it is a pain. To come in two or three times a week, once a week, twice a week, and pay the money, but suffering is an option. Mm -hmm. and, and with that, we're willing to work with you. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean. So you're saying invest in your health, that's invest a good in one. your body. That's a good one. Work with the body. Oh, Dr. Matt that's moment. A... Yeah, well, that was in a while. You want to do it? No. Maybe. All right. All right. Maybe. Should, we, should we let him have the couch? Sure. Yeah. All right, tell me right, right. Dr. Matt moment. Everybody, Dr. Matt moment. Should we have some theme music or something? So thanks to all in the shift out of land. Talk to Matt moment. Week number 259. Next week will be five years of shifts. And thank you guys for your patronage, watching, your time, your energy. Because we do this for your education. Entertainment. entertainment. <laughs> Sometimes more entertainment than others. but. These guys, we have a huge purpose, and I'm very blessed to work with these guys every single day, every single day, to better our community, to better our, our lives. Ooh. So, we're zooming in, I assume. So, <laughs> give, give us the look. What was that look? Extreme close-up. Oh. Our ratings just went up in the female category. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. We'll see you next week. Peace. <laughs>